Hello, welcome back to KION News at 5, where it's time now to take a full look at our weather forecast. And our chief meteorologist, Dan Sianca, has the latest. Dan, how's it looking out there? Well, it's been a busy couple of days, so I'm sure it's been nice for a lot of folks just to have a little bit of a relaxing day today. Uh, maybe some time to clean up, unfortunately, if that's what it looks like in your neighborhood. I do want to look at some preliminary storm totals. I say these are preliminary because I uh, encountered a lot of power outages when I was trying to collect my data last night. Uh, so I'm going to really have to dig into a lot of uh, databases to find some rainfall totals just to get a full scope of this system, uh, including around the Monterey Peninsula and a lot of places within the Santa Cruz Mountains. So these are just this kind of an example of how much we had. I'll have some time this evening to do that and hope to have them for you for our 10 and 11 o'clock newscast tonight. But this is just kind of an example of how much rain we did see in the two day period. That's Friday and Saturday. Friday being just kind of a cloudy day with moisture being pushed into the coastal mountains. And of course, Saturday being the stormy day when the actual storm came through. Uh, places like Boulder Creek and Felton are looking like got about nine inches of rain in that 20 or 48 hour period. So some ridiculous amounts of rain. Of course, a lot of that, all of that goes into the San Lorenzo River. Santa Cruz, four and a half inches of rain, but you got half of that on Friday before the storm even got here. This was just onshore flow all day long on uh, Friday, uh, producing moderate rain on and off. Watsonville, almost three inches and not as much around Monterey Salinas. A lot of our southern Monterey County locations didn't even see an inch of rain uh, due to rain shadowing from the San Lucia range. This was mostly just driven by this atmospheric river and uh, we've got more rain in the forecast. Unfortunately, let's talk about when we could see some. We have one band coming through tomorrow. Luckily, while there is a lot of moisture, the actual storm system that's using it won't be all that strong. So uh, we're not going to see a ton of rain tomorrow. We'll get some, maybe a quarter of an inch for some locations, but that's about it. It shouldn't cause any major problems. Uh, there's some potential we might see some brief ponding on the roadways, but I'm not expecting any major issues tomorrow with that system coming through. The rain should be fairly light and shouldn't cause too many issues, but there'll be multiple systems behind it. A stronger system late in the week is going to pull quite a bit of moisture toward the coast. This is going to be late Wednesday to Thursday, and this one will have moderate to briefly heavy rain with it and could cause some problems for us, unfortunately. Luckily, it looks like it's going to move through fairly quickly, but again, it could prove uh, so provide us with some moderate to heavy rainfall. We're going to get a little bit of a break Thursday into Friday. A weaker system comes in, could bring some light precipitation, and then Friday into Saturday. This one looks like some moderate precipitation, and I'm going to keep playing this, folks. This is our moisture tracker producing some potential heavy rain early next week, Monday into Tuesday with another atmospheric river. And look what happens later on next week. We get another one coming in. So the storm door is open. It's not going to stop anytime soon. So what that means for you is that you should continue to be prepared. If you live in the mountains, prepare for those power outages. If you live near a creek, have sandbags handy. If you've had issues with your neighborhood draining the water uh, with flooding over these last couple of systems, you're probably going to have it again. Uh, maybe contact local officials and say, hey, we need to get something done in this neighborhood. And if you've been having those problems, call our reporters too. We're happy to go out to your neighborhood and find out what's going on and make sure uh, that everyone uh, can be safe. So yeah, let's let's get together and make sure that we're all safe as we're going to get a couple more weeks of these stronger weather systems, which could cause additional flooding for us. Future cast overnight, no rain showing up for us. Uh, as I mentioned, clouds will be on the increase overnight tonight. And we see this big green band come in. I don't want you to get too alarmed with that. This is going to produce at most some very light precipitation tomorrow morning, but the actual frontal boundary, which will bring light to moderate rain, looks like it's going to come through tomorrow afternoon. So to, uh, during a couple hour period tomorrow afternoon, I expect some light to moderate rain to move through. And again, that is going to cause some wet roads, maybe some puddles that might make you hydroplane a little bit. I'm not seeing any major hydrological issues, meaning heavy rain that's going to cause some flooding. But if there's areas that are still kind of pooled up and haven't drained yet, and then you might see some issues in those areas. And then late tomorrow evening, things kind of wind down. So this is a weaker system coming through. And as I mentioned, I think most areas picking up around a quarter of an inch of rain seems pretty reasonable with this system. There might be some areas that are a little bit higher than that, but not talking about a couple of inches here. Let's quickly go through your temperature forecast tomorrow. Oh, by the way, I should mention this is a cold system. Uh, temperatures aren't going to be all that warm. Highs in the low 50s in Santa Cruz, for example, and even some 40s up in the mountains. So uh, a cold system, 53 Santa Cruz tomorrow, Watsonville, Salinas, Hollister, not much warmer, low to mid 50s expected for your highs, only 52 in Morgan Hill, for example, tomorrow. And again, a chilly night overnight tonight, although not as cold as it was earlier in December, for example. 54 in Monterey and Seaside tomorrow. And I think 54 maybe is the warmest temperature I have anywhere tomorrow, maybe a 55. There you yeah, go. Soledad, Gonzales, Greenfield are hot spots tomorrow. 
uh, if you could call it that. So looking at that seven day forecast, uh, again, Monday rain will get a break on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and perhaps all the way into the weekend, additional rain showers. Again, those systems are a little bit, uh, you know, there might be some breaks in there. I don't want you to think it's going to rain constantly during that whole period. We are going to get some breaks, but right now models are all over the place with the timing of everything. Uh, just plan at least for rain, at least on and off through the rest of the week. We'll be dry on Tuesday, though, so there you go. Monday light rain. We will still be windy a little bit tomorrow, uh, and then rain chances really throughout the rest of the week. So make sure you're staying prepared.